But Tom Vilsack is not the thief. He is the United States Secretary of Agriculture, and he can help us figure out what's happening. Uh, Secretary, we're looking at the price of beef rising. Is this just a very simple consequence of a drought, or are there other market forces at play? Uh, it absolutely is a consequence of the drought. Okay. Higher grain prices, basically people shrank their herds. We're beginning to see an uptick uh, on herds, and we're beginning to see a, an increase in export opportunities. So. So there's no change in consumption habits in the U.S., for example? Not really. Uh, it's pretty much flatlined. If we, uh, if we stick with beef for a second, you're here today to talk about trade. Um, and particularly beef has been a sticking point uh, in the Pacific with Japan and with South Korea. If we're going to move this trade agreement forward, which the president has said is a priority, how do you get past that? Well, basically making the case that uh, a science-based and rules-based system allows for uh, our beef to go into those markets. In fact, we are seeing an expanded opportunity in both Japan and Korea. Uh, the problem is not so much in beef, it's in dairy, it's in poultry, it's in rice, and some of the other commodities. There are about 1,800 lines uh, of debate and negotiation in this trade agreement, so there's yeah. a lot of agriculture. But you can't just make a science-based case. You've got to give something, too. What's going to be given? Well, actually, our, our markets are so open, uh, it's really not so much about what we're giving. Uh, it's basically suggesting that we have an open market, and they need to have a market that is as open as ours. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, you know, we will always be competitive. The days get longer. How do you have American farmers back? What is the initiative right now of USDA to protect, to advance our farming? Record exports, uh, expansion of local and regional food systems, uh, the development of ecosystem markets and encouraging more conservation, uh, and the bioeconomy, the ability to take... What's care. that? Is that a jargon alert? I'm waiting. Let's say what he says. What is the bioeconomy? It's making everything in the economy from uh, bio-based materials. So you take corn stover and you can produce chemicals. Uh, mm -hmm. You take uh, animal waste and you can produce mm -hmm. a, a wide variety of materials. Uh, it's an incredible new explosion of innovation in agriculture and in manufacturing. But do we really need more farmers? Aren't we play, paying plenty of farmers to not farm? Uh, no, we're paying farmers to make sure that we always have the food security that we enjoy in this country. We have the most affordable and most diverse food supply in the country, in the world. Uh, and it gives us an opportunity, frankly, for everyone around this table to do exactly what you're doing today because you've delegated the responsibility of feeding your families to somebody else. Is it, is it, Brendan, is it true that food here is a third less than Europe? Is that as a general statement? That's my experience. Uh, I have no idea. When I was in it, Europe, I was feeding only Secretary? myself. It's, it's half. Uh, we spend uh, around 10% uh, of our paychecks for, for food. In most developed countries, it's uh, 20 to 25. Your entourage that came with you today, what are they, former linebackers at Missouri or something? They're eating I, I, you know. They're good folks. The, the Secretary, um, you, you know, we've been talking about trade within this Trans-Pacific Partnership, but one of the most significant acquisitions from abroad of or purchases of American products is the Chinese acquisition of pork suppliers. Um, are, should we be worried at all about somebody else controlling such a, 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 a vital part of our own economy and the way we feed ourselves? Not necessarily. I mean, the, the whole idea, I'm really kind of surprised by these questions because this is Jobs Day on this, uh, <laughs> on this, uh, on this station, and, and actually... Trade is about jobs. It's 11 million jobs that are supported. And one of the problems with trade in this country is that we don't do enough explanation of how it is connected to jobs. Mm -hmm. And these are jobs that pay better, 13 to 18 percent more export jobs versus non-export jobs. That's why this trade agreement is so important. It's $123 billion right. of additional opportunity. Mm -hmm.